I know how overwhelming it is trying to search for information on diabetes on the internet. Being told to eat healthier sounds so vague. Everywhere you look, there is conflicting information or people trying to sell you vitamins or supplements. It can feel really hard to figure out what to do, what's true and what's not. But look no further because we are here to present you the hard facts, specifically when it comes to diabetes. My name is Charmaine and I'm the dietitian that helps people reverse type 2 diabetes. And my name is Galia. I'm a coach in the Reversing Diabetes program specializing in exercise. And today we're diving into a fascinating topic. Five drinks that have been scientifically studied to help lower blood sugar. And before we begin, a quick reminder, this podcast is meant for educational purposes and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. So always consult your healthcare provider before making any major dietary changes. Now, Let's jump into today's episode. So our first blood sugar lowering drink is green tea. Not only is green tea packed with antioxidants like polyphenols, but research shows that it can improve insulin sensitivity and reduce blood sugar spikes after meals. In a study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2013, participants who consumed green tea experienced significant reductions in fasting blood sugar levels and insulin resistance compared to those who didn't. This happens because of a compound called EGCG, which helps to improve glucose metabolism and reduce the absorption of sugars in the intestine. So if you haven't already, consider adding a cup of green tea to your daily routine. It may help give your insulin sensitivity a boost that in turn stabilizes blood sugar throughout the day. A tip for the best effects would be to opt for organic green tea and to also avoid adding any kind of sugars or sweeteners to the tea. Next up, let's talk about cinnamon tea. Cinnamon is not only a delicious spice, but it also has potent blood sugar lowering effects. Studies show that cinnamon can mimic insulin and increase glucose uptake by the cells. One study published in Diabetes Care in 2003 found that consuming just 1 to 6 grams of cinnamon per day reduced fasting blood sugar levels by up to 29% in people with type 2 diabetes. The bioactive compound in cinnamon called cinnamaldehyde is responsible for improving insulin sensitivity and slowing down the breakdown of carbohydrates in the digestive tract, which helps prevent blood sugar spikes after meals. You can brew cinnamon tea by steeping a cinnamon stick in hot water or using ground cinnamon in herbal teas. It's important to note that there are two types of cinnamon, Ceylon and Cassia. Cassia cinnamon, which is more common, should be consumed in moderation because it contains coumarin, which can be harmful in large doses. The third drink on our list is aloe vera juice. So you guys may be familiar with aloe vera for helping sunburns, but it has also actually been studied for its blood sugar lowering properties. In a 2016 study published in the Journal of Traditional and Complementary Medicine, aloe vera supplementation helped reduce fasting blood sugar levels in individuals with prediabetes and also individuals with type 2 diabetes. The mechanism behind aloe vera's effects involves its ability to enhance insulin sensitivity and to stimulate the pancreas to produce more insulin. It is also a drink that is quite rich in fiber, which as you've heard us talk about time and time again, fiber can slow down the absorption of glucose in the gut, which actually helps to reduce post-meal blood sugar. You can find aloe vera juice in most health food stores, but make sure to choose one that does not have added sugars or any artificial ingredients. A tip here would be to start with a small amount as aloe vera juice can have a laxative effect if consumed in large quantities. So start with a small amount, see how you do it, and then you can increase from there. Number four on our list is a favorite for many people, apple cider cider vinegar or ACV for short. ACV has been studied for its ability to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce fasting blood sugar levels. One study published in Diabetes Care in 2004 found that consuming two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar before meals significantly lowered post-meal blood glucose levels in both healthy individuals and those with insulin resistance. The acetic acid in ACV slows the digestion of carbohydrates, which leads to a more gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream. 
This not only helps prevent blood sugar spikes, but can also improve insulin function in the long run. A tip I have is to make an ACV drink. Um, you can mix one to two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar with a glass of water, and it's important to dilute ACV to protect your teeth from its acidity, so it's best to drink it before meals to get the maximum blood sugar benefits. You can also use a straw as well to make sure that your teeth are protected. Last but not least, we have barley water. This traditional drink has been used for centuries, but modern research shows that it can particularly be effective at lowering blood sugar. Barley is rich in soluble fiber, especially a type called beta-glucan, which can help regulate blood sugar levels by slowing down the absorption of carbohydrates. In 2016 study published in the British Journal of Nutrition, participants who consumed barley bread showed improved insulin sensitivity and lowered blood sugar levels compared to those who ate white bread. The high fiber content in barley not only helps regulate digestion, but also supports the healthy gut bacteria that plays a role in glucose metabolism. You can make barley water by boiling pearl barley in water and start straining the liquid. Add a squeeze of lemon for flavor and you've got a refreshing blood sugar friendly drink. So there you have it. Five drinks that have been scientifically shown to help lower blood sugar levels. First, green tea. Second, cinnamon tea. Third, aloe vera juice. Fourth, apple cider vinegar. And last of all, barley water. Each of these drinks works in different ways, whether by improving insulin sensitivity, slowing carbohydrate digestion, or boosting glucose uptake by your cells. It is important to remember that although these drinks can be helpful, they are only one piece of the puzzle when it comes to managing diabetes, reversing diabetes, working on your insulin resistance and carbohydrate tolerance. A comprehensive approach, like adopting a plant-based rich diet focused on whole foods, will actually give you the best chance at reversing insulin resistance and achieving lasting health.